I'm very sorry I can't be with you all today at such an important gathering. Some have speculated that I've seen more of the natural world than anyone else. Well, it's certainly true that I have been extremely fortunate to spend my life traveling the world to film and share the wonders of nature. I've recently partnered with Dronesmere on a new documentary venture, not in the natural world, but the human one. My 80 years of studying and observing love in the animal kingdom has intrigued me to turn my sights on a human relationship, casting light on the mutual love for traveling that has united Nathan Dean Snyder and Natalia Maria Raymond. Our team of researchers have painstakingly examined thousands of photographs and hundreds of hours of video gathered from their world travels, chronicling seven years of life together, from inception to this very day. We only have a single photograph from the day they met, retrieved from his iPhone 5, and that date was Monday, April 25th, 2016 in Agora Hills, California, on the set of the acclaimed HBO television series Westworld, with him playing the part of a dusty cowboy and her a charming street vendor. In episode 10 of season 1, we catch a brief glimpse of her in this shot, and we literally mean shot, evident by the special effects makeup on her face. It's not clear if he played in the scene as well, though we surmise he was one of the prostrated bodies seen here. Unfortunately, no physical evidence from this day remains. Paramount Ranch, the filming location of Westworld, was consumed in the devastating Wolseley wildfire of November 2018, fueled by increased climate change. After three days of filming, they exchanged contact information and parted ways. But the flame of love had already flickered. The trail next leads us to San Bernardino, as seen in this advertisement for the department store Curacao. On Thursday, April 28th, 2016, four days after their initial contact, we have evidence of them working together on this ad from payroll documents. Though they met on Westworld as on-camera talent just days prior, here we find them operating behind camera, with her in an assistant role to his producing position. Not much is known of what happened at the Brickyard Pub in North Hollywood later that evening, but witnesses from that night claim to have observed a couple matching their description having a, a rather passionate moment over a pint or two. Next, we turn our attention to the little-known independent horror motion picture, the obliviously titled Death Cap, a name which has a far different meaning for us Brits. But alas, that is a different story. This is the first video evidence of the couple together that we have, though one could be forgiven for mistaking him in that appalling wig. Death Camp was filmed in July 2016, but was not released to the public until October 2022. And upon further critical review, the entire film would have been better left on the cutting room floor. But for our purposes, the real treasure can be found in this iconic scene from motion picture history. Let's tune in. What about the girl you were with? I got separated. I lost her. I saw your friend.
the seed of their relationship sparked in Hollywood. Yet our first known photograph of the couple finds them atop a mountain in Nevada, May 2016. The second known photograph captures them at the Shakespeare Garden in Golden Gate Park, San Francisco, in October 2016. A good bit of foreshadowing, followed by their first Giants baseball sporting event, a pastime I am admittedly little familiar with. Much of their travels were often centered around the celebration of the New Year, as we will see further on. Later, they entered the public eye with media appearances, red carpets, and Hollywood parties, elements beyond my nature. Alas, we cannot forget about American football, the much-beloved game of hand-egg and trench warfare. Now this is where I leave you to go on a journey with them around the world, and may you experience their love for travel too, as I did. We will see each other again on the far side, as per the young chaps in the Royal Navy, anchors away, my boys. Anchors away.
Wasatch's National Park on the Park Avenue Trail. furnace got a shimmy her way across like I just did you got a shimmy in <laughs> you're doing good keep your weight on the sides keep it parted keep coming forward slowly you're doing really good. You gotta lean. You gotta lean your back on one of the walls and put your feet on the other one. <laughs> I can't. I don't know how I'm gonna help you. You gotta, you gotta get your feet on one wall and your back on the other and then shimmy across. So do that now. So take your left leg and turn your boot. You put your left leg over here and put it against the wall. Or just keep shimmying. There you go. It's just harder because there's no footholds. You're doing good. First day of Bryce Canyon. in Zion. Now we are approaching the Grand Canyon Lodge. There's our bus that will take us on our mule ride down into the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. 
Ellie is always wanting to snack the whole ride. <laughs> It's our first morning in Breckenridge. And we're up in the Colorado Rockies, as we can see the peaks. We're headed down the main street here in Breckenridge on our second day. We're getting on the gondola here. Denver and we unloaded in our apartment which is very nice now we're walking around exploring and we've come to Union Station walking down Larimer Square downtown Denver we're ready to head back to LA 1018 miles back to LA over the next two days cars all packed up Off-roading.
we've made it to the Mist Trail, our first hike here in Yosemite. And you can see the steep cliffs right above us.
find each other here at the end of your long and unexpected journey. But like Frodo and Bilbo, this is not the end of their journey. It is rather just the beginning. Though seasons change, time passes, and life grows ever older, the boundless love for travel that binds these two humans endures. Poetry for us English has always been our forte. So I leave you now with words from our two most hallowed poets, from the legendary linguist and master wordsmith J.R.R. Tolkien. The road goes ever on and on, down from the door where it began. Now far ahead the road has gone, and I must follow if I can. And the father of the English language, the immortal bard, William Shakespeare. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts.